What's going on you guys, it's Thomas here. Today we're going to be showing you how to access your saved credit cards on your Mac and how to delete those credit cards so that you don't have to worry about your security being breached. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so as you know, every once in a while in Safari when you go to buy something and type in your credit card, Safari will offer to save the credit card so it can autofill it when you want to buy something again on a different website. And while that may be very convenient, uh, it may also lead to privacy concerns like what if your computer gets hacked and somebody steals your credit card. Um, you know, you don't really want your credit card stored on your computer. So um, while I'm sure Apple has a lot of security features in place to prevent this uh, issue from occurring where your computer is hacked and your credit card stolen, there is still the possibility of something happening. So today we're going to go over how to remove your credit card from your Safari autofill. And it's actually a pretty easy process. Uh, you're just gonna open up Safari and you're going to hit the Safari button in the top left corner. And you're gonna hit preferences. And as you can see right here, autofill. And you can autofill from your contacts, usernames and passwords, credit cards and other forms. So we're just going to, next to credit cards, click edit. And naturally, of course, it's locked and encrypted. So it will ask for either your touch ID or your password, depending on your computer type. So I'm just gonna use my touch ID. And as you can see, now I have a list of all the different credit cards I have. And I can either add one if I wanna add a new card, or in this case, I want to remove my card. So I can just click on it and I can click the remove button and boom, it's gone. So, so that's pretty much it, it's easy as that. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video and you learned something, please do let me know by hitting that subscribe button. And if you want to see more tech tutorials or learn more about how to use your Mac or your iPhone in general, then please do hit that notification bell. Uh, it really does mean a lot. And thanks so much for watching. I do hope you have a great day. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.